This is my baby. And ain't nobody finna touch him. I'm going chill, chill, chill. What's poppin'? It's your girl Sid, and welcome back to my channel. It is Vlogmas Day One. This is my first time ever participating in Vlogmas, so I'm so, 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 so excited. I'm also excited because we hit 100 subscribers. Yay! I know it's so small, but like that's something to be celebrated, okay? Um, especially considering how inconsistent I have been with you two over the past year or so. Like, I'm just happy to be here. Um, Disclaimer, my hair is flat, I look a mess, but it's okay, it's vlogmas, y'all are gonna get the very much raw and uncut content. Um, if you hear a dog crying in the back, it's Vice, he's in trouble right now, so he's in his kennel, right on cue. And then if you hear little feet tapping, that's my baby, that's Sway. This is Sway. Y'all have like unofficially met him, but this is my little baby. He's a Yorkie Poo. He's a year and some change. He's actually gonna be two back in, they're gonna be two in February. Oh my God, time flies. This is my baby. So funny story, my mom actually bought him on my birthday. I really think she bought him for herself, but she won't admit that. Um, so she bought him on my birthday and then I was moving from Chicago to Cincinnati by myself. So she was like, hey, I'll take care of him until you move to Cincinnati and then you can have him. And then I moved to Cincinnati and went to get him and she did not give him to me. So then um, they kept him for a couple more months slash weeks and then hit me up and was like, hey, come. She like, I don't know what happened, but she called me one day and was like, come get your dog. Literally booked it straight to ATL that weekend and got my Sway Bay. So I think I've had Sway since like June. June. June of 2020, so I've had him for over a year, and he's gonna be two in February, and I just love him so much. He's bad though, y'all. Like, he's being real quiet and good for the cameras, but Sway is a drama king. Sway loves attention. If you don't give him attention, he will show his butt. Sway has chewed through heels. Sway has chewed the island of my apartment. Sway has just done a lot, so yeah. But this is my Sway bag. So glad for y'all to meet him. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Now you want to act shy. What's up with that? He was literally just crying to get up here. But I'm going to put him down. But yes, that's my sway bay. Look at how small he is. He's so tiny. He's so tiny. This my little baby. This my little baby. Say hi. You used to say like, this is my baby. And ain't nobody finna touch him. That's how I feel about him. <laughs> So I wanted to kick off Vlogmas with my favorite of the month. Um, back when I first got introduced to YouTube, that was when we had like Bethany Moda, Lord DIY, and so on and so forth. Like Amanda Steele, all those girlies. And they used to do these videos where at the end of every month, they would say like, oh, these are my favorite things of the month. <laughs> so I want to do that. Um, that's something I, I, I want to do consistently, like at the end of every month, you know, figure out what I like and share that with you all. Kind of put you on long game or whatever. Um, I will say, I got a, a nice collection here, so I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet. Yeah, if you try anything, let me know. If you like anything, let me know. I love feedback. I love to know what you guys are rocking and what you aren't. If you don't like the perfume that I share, let me know. But I do have quite a few categories, so we're just gonna hop right into it. So I kinda have, I have a bunch of different stuff, but I wanna put them in the categories. So the first thing in my skincare category is the Youth to the People. Mandelic Acid and Superfood Unity Exfoliant. It is a 3% AHA and 2% BHA and 1% PHA gentle solution. This stuff, the holy grail, okay? I love this toner. So my thing with toners is, I was a big like witch hazel or estrogen type of girl, cause I feel like it cleaned my skin, like it really got up, got up the like oils and dirt and really clean my pores, but it was so drying. It still does a trick as far as like cleaning out my pores and getting off that, getting that excess gunk that my face wash did it, but not drying my skin out. So I'm really a fan of this, 10 out of 10. You can get this from Sephora. I believe it's a little under $40, but it's definitely worth the investment for sure. I'm almost out and I've had this for over a month, but I already got another one on standby. The next thing on my favorites for skincare is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. It's a two-step patented peel. This is what the box looks like. I got the 60 treatment um, and it's expensive y'all. It's $150, you can find it at Sephora, but each pack comes like this. So I like it because it's easy, easily accessible. Like if I have to go out of town, I know I'm gonna be out of town for five days. I can just grab five of these and keep it pushing. But I definitely say 
this is going to cause that glass skin look. This is what gets my skin so much, so like glowy and just it looks very moisturized. It looks very healthy and so on and so forth. So I love, love, love these. If you were to take away one thing from my favorites video, it's these. These are fire. Um, I have the extra strength ones because I feel like those work the best on my skin, but I definitely would recommend starting off with the sensitive skin ones and then working your way up if you see that those aren't like working the way you want them to. So yeah, so that is my second thing on my skincare list. So the last thing on my skincare, I don't know if this is classified as skincare. I consider my lips to be my skin, but this is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. I'm actually gonna put some on right now because my lips need it. Um, I have the Flare Grapefruit. I use the Overnight Sleeping Mask. I use the Laneige Overnight Sleeping Mask. And I just love how the balm just gives my lips the same feeling as a mask does throughout the day um, without having to carry the mask around. Because at one point I was literally wearing a mask throughout the day. But I really love it. It just leaves my lips like just nice and moisturized and they look like I have gloss on without really having gloss on. Yeah. So moving on to my next category, I have two products for you. This is Body, um, the Native Sugar Cookie Body Wash, y'all. This stuff is so fire. So I already like Native's products already. Like I use it because it's sulfate free, paraben free, dye free, and I don't know how to pronounce this word, but phthalate, phthalate? P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E, free. But this smell, y'all, it smells so good. Like the sugar free, this is part of their Christmas collection. When I say it smells, so good like i love grabbing for this in my shower and then the second thing for my body category is a trader joe's coconut body butter if you follow anybody on tiktok they're gonna recommend this like it smells good it's perfect for the winter it keeps you moisturized moisturized and hydrated i just love it so much and it's made with coconut oil shea butter and vitamin e um actually even though like i have quite a bit left I have quite a bit left, but I'm actually gonna go to Trader Joe's today because I have to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna grab some more because I just, I love this. I love it and it smells so good. It smells like coconut. But yeah, so this, highly recommend. Um, I just use it right after the shower. I dry myself off and it keeps me hydrated all day. Um, yeah, and I just love the smell of it. So I would definitely recommend that. The next category I have is perfume. So disclaimer, I am a like vanilla type of girl. The first one. The first one, y'all should know some of these. Like some of these, you should know they're coming. Emmy Wood, Zara. It's like Zara and Joe Malone's um, collaboration collection. Emmy Wood. You know, Kyra put a lot of us on. Our girl, our girl put us on, and I ten out of ten recommend. Literally, y'all, it just smells so good. I will say this is not very vanilla y at all. Emmy Wood is very. It's very. I think it's unisex. If I. I I wouldn't be surprised if it was unisex. It's very masculine. When I say we're obsessed, and I say we, like Alana and I, we literally went to Zara. They had maybe four or five um, travel sizes. We bought the rest of them. Like she bought two or three, I bought two or three. I don't know. I think I bought two and she bought three, but we literally bought the rest of them. Like that's how obsessed we are because the, this, this Ebony Wood is hard to come by. Like it's really hard. Like. It took me forever to get a hold of it because it kept selling out. So, yes. Number two, which I think a lot of people don't know about. I'm probably gonna say this wrong too. Atelier Cologne Vanille Incense. Cologne Absolute. So I went to Sephora to actually find a scent. Like I just needed a good fall scent. And the rep actually told me like, hey, try this out. She asked me what I like. I was like, I like vanilla, I like sweet. I wanna smell warm. She's like, well, this is actually like a, um, unisex cologne that a lot of people enjoy. It's like vanilla flavor, so I sniffed and I was like, oh, that's the one, that's it. He woke through the crowd when suddenly his heart quickened. That scent, it was hers. He had worn it first until she stole it for herself. Now, there she was before him and the magic of years past came flooding back in a moment. That's poetic, okay. 
But yeah, I would definitely send this for my man if he had this. So yeah, this is the second one. Artelier Cologne. The bottle looks like this. I think it has, oh. It has like a brown top to it. I just can't find mine right now. But yes, this is definitely one of my go-to. And then the last one, it's another one recommended by Kyra. This is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. I just have the travel size. Um, not that I didn't want to buy the bottle, the big bottle. It's just I I needed travel size perfumes, and this is what I grabbed. It's crazy because this is literally a combination of like Ebony Wood and the Artelier Cologne together. Like, and I think that's why I like it, and that's why I'm so attracted to it. And it's crazy because the first time I smelled it, I didn't like it. Like, I just couldn't get with it. Um, and then over time, I smelled it again and again, and I was like, wow, like I actually do like it. I don't know why I did it the first time, but it was really good. So yeah, third one is the Seven Virtues Vanilla Woods. So good, so fall, so winter. I keep saying fall, it's definitely, it's clearly, wait, when does winter start? December 21st. It's not winter yet, so I'm gonna keep saying fall until the winter officially comes, per. So next, on the list, after those, um, music. So I have three albums that I wanna talk to y'all about. And um, they're kind of all over the place. I'm, I listen to just about anything besides country. I maybe like two or three country songs at max, but everything else I listen to, and these are kind of mainstream, but like different times and different genres. So the first one, Summer Walker's still over it. I really like this album. I, If I'm being honest, I don't think it's better than over it. But I also think it's more personal. Like I feel like she is talking to London. If you've gone through this, you'll really relate. And I just, I can't relate. So I like it. It's really good. But I'm not a fourth baby mama. You know what I mean? Like, but it's so good. I really like that. It's definitely one of my go-to likes. So last month, November, I actually saw Tiana Taylor in concert with my special Amber. Vlog is loading. So I'm actually gonna upload that in the parts for vlog. And so it might be like vlog this day, like. 15, 16 watch, all those numbers, I don't know. But it, it might be broken up in two days because the actual vlog is too long for the storage on my computer. And yes, I'm upset. <laughs> I wanna tussle. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm done. Um, but like I already kind of listened to her music, but I wasn't like a huge fan. Like I listened to, you know, the songs that went viral on TikTok or like songs that Somebody else I'm putting me on, but I never listened to the whole album. Y'all, Tiana Taylor, the album, which is her last album, which is like her retirement album. It's so good. Like, and it just has every emotion, like every feel, like it has like empowering songs, it has sad songs, it has love songs. Like, it just has so much on it and I'm just obsessed. So that's one of the other ones I've been playing. Okay, and then for my last one, if you know me, you know, um, I got a little touch of ratchetness in me. I got just, just a, just a, just a sprinkle, you know, a little salt bay of ratchetness, not a lot. But a little. Um, and I swear, Vaso, Rich Off Pints 2, that's my, sh when I'm on a roll, that's what I'm playing. Like, that's my, that's on my Fast and Furious playlist, like, every day. Well, hold on, no, because I gotta go through it. I gotta work myself up. He said, uh, I got shooters, I got, I was just gonna hit a fuck your block, hey, you can't run my neck, have the suicide on my watch, I can't do it, I'm like, oh, I can't. Every day, mud, baby. Sipping, uh, tear the club up, never had a handout, hustle hard. I just named the whole album, but it's fire. Like it's it's fire. Okay, but if you listen to like Detroit music or like rap music, I definitely recommend. It. Okay, and then next TV. Um, these are some of the shows I've been watching. So the first one is The Sex Lives of College Girls. It's on HBO Max. Basically, like. Four different roommates, different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different, you know, um, experiences. Like one girl, she's Indian. She's basically like very hypersexual, like wants to do a lot in college while she's there. Um, then you have another one who's like an athlete, whose mom is a senator, who's like having this little um, scandal with her coach. Then you got another one who's from like the small little bitty town in Arizona and she's just like, trying to figure everything out for herself. And then you have another one who's like very privileged. You know, she wasn't supposed to be in their room. And yeah, like just, it's just a really good show. And it's like a nice lighthearted show. Like it's not too heavy or anything too deep. Really good. 
my second show. It's Love Life, also on HBO Max. I am such a hopeless romantic. So it's essentially like there's two seasons of it. The first season follows this girl who's basically just trying to find love. Like they said, like the average human goes to like nine relationships before they meet their soul soulmate. So they go through these like nine relationships with this girl until she like finds one. And it's just it's just a really good like it is kind of it can get sad, you know, heartbreak and all that stuff. But it's a really good like show. I appreciate it. the same girl that was on what's the acapella movie. Pitch Perfect, the main character, she's the main character on the show. And then the second season involves a black man who essentially kind of goes through the same thing, just like his different relationships. But it's really good, would definitely recommend it. If you like that type of stuff, all of these, and then if you like that kind of stuff, most of these are kind of dramas. I don't know if y'all hear that, but there's an emergency happening. And then the last one is our kind of people. I literally, y'all, Literally, I'm not even gonna exaggerate. I started watching this yesterday. I'm on episode five. Like Alana has been talking about it for the longest, and I'm like, oh, okay, like I'll watch, I'll watch it. She was like, no, like watch it. And I actually watched it, and I really liked it because it's like a modern day soap opera. Like it's very dramatic. Everybody on the show pisses me off at least one time. But yes, great show. I think that's on Fox. Yeah, I think that's on Fox, and also I watched it on Hulu. And it's just really good, so I like that. Okay, and then last category is like my miscellaneous category. So the first thing is Target candles. They're like the $10 ones. I think they're Opa House. They have two that are really popular. I like Coconut Campfire, but a lot of people like, I think it's like Maple Glaze Donut or something. And that smells really good, really sweet. I like Coconut Campfire of the two, but those like, at one point, when I was really like spending money, just spend money, I would go to Target and get like three candles, go back home, burn those, next week get three more. Like I was going crazy with them. So they were definitely a favorite of the month. My next Miss Ladies out of Skims. Y'all, if Skims just has a spot for me. Cause the amount of bread I spend here is too much. Like I love Skims. If I can live in Skims, I would live in Skims. Like I wear them. 24 set not 20% but I wear them a lot like that's my go-to like I will throw skins on no matter what type of actually I have a haul on I just made a purchase for skins on Thanksgiving so they should be coming any day now and I will do a try on haul Kim can get all my coins but yeah love 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 skins if you don't have a pair of skins um I definitely recommend like the outwear collection um, as opposed to like the loungewear if you're actually gonna wear it outside like loungewear is great But I prefer the outdoor collection because it just I just feel more Protected like I think the material is just thicker and is meant to go outside So I like wearing it both inside and outside and the last thing are my Rick Owen I don't have them with me. They actually need to be clean really 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 badly I wore them to work by accident last week Wednesday and it was like our craziest and busiest night so they got destroyed like Dirty stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna revive them, but I need to revive them. But those are definitely my favorite go-to shoe. I feel like they're so versatile. Um, and I've seen a lot of different looks where people are dressing them up and dressing them down. So I really am excited to like explore those a little bit more. But I love my Rick Owens. Um, I did an unboxing in a previous video. The video where I got my tattoo, I did a Rick Owens unboxing at the very end. So yeah, if you wanna see what they look like, definitely go back to that video. I'll link it down below. But yeah, so that concludes my favorites video. That also concludes my day one video for Vlogmas. Tomorrow is day two and I actually think I have a skincare routine for you all, which has been highly, highly requested. So I'm excited to drop that for you. Um, for my vloggers, just a little disclaimer, it's gonna be a plethora of different things. So I'm gonna have things where I'm actually vlogging throughout the day. And I'm gonna have days where I'm actually, you know, planned content, like, like a skincare routine or a haul or things of that nature. Like it, my vlog is gonna be very different. It's also gonna have vlogs that just didn't make it like vlogs that I should have uploaded months ago and never got the chance to or it was just too big so I might cut it into parts like my vlogmas is not going to be a traditional vlogmas it's going to be something different every single day and you just never know what you're going to get okay so with that being said I hope you're all subscribed and I hope you're ready for this ride with me I hope and I pray actually no not hope and pray I am I'm going to be consistent I'm going to post every single day for the 25 days and 
yeah, I, I can't wait to see the growth. I can't wait to see what Vlogmas has in store for us. And I, let me know if you try any of the products, you look into any other products, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below or just hit me up on any of my social accounts. But with that being said, make sure you are all subscribed and I hope you have your push notifications on so you can be notified when I upload this video, when I upload my video tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the day after that, all the way until Vlogmas is over. I hope you're getting notified of when my videos are dropping. As always, I will chop it up with y'all later in peace, love, and happiness.